Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and I've got a whole bunch of sweet, sweet lead locations for you. That's right, those locations where you can put a resource extractor at your camp and let it do all the hard work for you. No scavenging required. Now I have a lead location from each area of the map for you. This first one here in the forest, you're right on the edge of a cliff. Hopefully you're okay with that. But I like this location because it's going to put you right between two awesome vendors. Or really, a, a couple vendors and then a whole bunch of vendors. Because you're going to be between the top of the world and White Spring. Whole bunch of vendors. And normally I'm hitting those vendors all the time. Well, what am I saying? I hit all the vendors all the time. I need all the money. All of it. So let's head up to Toxic Valley. Now this location, it's not super close to anything. Sadly, it's not close to a vendor, it's not close to water, but you are a little bit out of the way. And also, up there, up the hill, is actually uh, one of the unique camp locations from one of my older videos. It's funny now, I go back around areas and I'm like, oh, I remember that spot, I remember that spot. I've been to all of these places. So you'll find that location right there. But if you do want lead and water, hang in there. It's coming a little bit later. All right, so moving on, let's head down to the Ash Heap. And this location is extremely close to a black titanium location I had last week. Sadly, they're not close enough to where you could farm both of them at one camp. But they are pretty darn close. That being said, you will be somewhat close to a train station down here, which is awesome. And I wouldn't count on those Scorch Beasts being here. I don't know what they're doing down here other than uh, showing up. Because they just want me to remember that they were here for Black Titanium, but in the Cranberry. Freaking Scorch Beast. All right, so let's move on to the Savage Divide. This location is pretty darn close to one of the unique locations from this week. That being said, that also means that you're somewhat close to a couple vendors. You're not super close, but close enough. You're also going to be really close to the Wendigo Cave. So if you're someone that goes in there farming it, you can set your camp up right outside there and have easy access to the cave and whatever goodies you're aiming to get in there. Now into the mire. And, you know, I gotta say, in the daytime, the mire is very beautiful. At nighttime, not so beautiful. It's really bad when it gets super foggy. Ugh. It makes recording a pain. I have to wait for the weather. But this location has some water nearby. And I did a little bit of fiddling around with camp placement. And I'm pretty sure you can get the edge of the water right in here to be part of your camp and be able to get the lead. So if you're someone that you want lead but water is a must-have, this is the location. And you'll find it right up here. It's not in the best of spots, but you got water, and that's what matters to you. Now on to the Cranberry Bog, in a location that's going to set you up for farming somewhere that I'm so sick of people farming, mostly because I go there to farm it, and it's been picked clean. Sad times. Oh yeah, there you have Fort Defiance. You're not going to get much closer than that. And you got your lead right here. Look at that. You're right beside it. But that's going to wrap up all the lead locations. If there's anything resource-wise that you would like me to bring to you, please hop down in the comments and let me know. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later. Later.